Hello everyone, welcome to the third part of this tutorial. In this video we will model the last two parts of the protein shaker, which are the flip cap and the mixing ball. And in the last video we will assemble the parts. Let's start with a sketch on the front plane. Select center rectangle. We're going to draw a rectangle from the origin. We're going to give this rectangle some dimensions. The side will be 15. The line at the top will be 1.5. Then we're going to extrude in two directions. So the first direction will be 16.5 and the other direction will also be 16.5 then we're going to make another sketch on the front plane select front plane sketch then we're going to draw a circle from the origin and give this circle a dimension of 16. Then we're going to select center line, draw a center line from the origin to the circle. Then we're going to draw another center line. We're going to give a dimension of 25 degrees. Then we will select the arc and draw an arc from here to somewhere around here. And we will make this tangent of this line. We're going to draw another arc. We'll make this tension too and we will align these points these two points so click this point hold shift click on this point and select horizontal and we're going to give these points a dimension this will be 40 and this arc will be 190 and the distance between these two points will be 23. Now we're going to trim the lines we don't need. We select the trim tool. We delete this line and this line. Now a profile is done and we're going to extrude it, but we're going to use surfaces, so we go to surfaces, extrude surface, and we're going to extrude it in two directions again, so, and click OK. And if you want to know how to work with surfaces, you should check my sixth tutorial. After this, we're going to trim the part of the front, so we're going to select the top plane, sketch, And we're going to draw a center line from the middle to somewhere around here. And give this line a dimension of 7. And we're going to draw another center line from this line to the other side. And we're going to draw an arc from this point to this point to the middle. We're going to click on this point and click on the arc and select midpoint. 
Now we're going to extrude the sketch, also using surfaces. Make sure it's all through. Click OK. And then we're going to use this surface as a trimming tool. So we go to Trim Surface. Yeah, this will be a trimming tool. And these are the surfaces we want to trim. So click OK. And then you can hide or you can remove the trim tool. Now we're going to make the surface solid. So we will go to Thicken, click on the surface. We want to thicken it both sides, and we're going to thicken it by one. Click OK. Then we can give these edges some fillets. Let's give them a fillet of five. Now we're going to draw the part that closes off the mouthpiece. But we're first going to insert the plane. And we need a point four millimeter down from this point over here. So we're going to draw a center line from this point down. So we are going to select the front plane, click on sketch, then select center line, draw a vertical center line and give it a dimension of 4. Then we can leave the sketch and we're going to use this point as a reference. So we go to plane, and we can select the top plane as a reference, and this point as a reference. Click OK. And then we have our plane on the right location. We're going to sketch on this plane, so click on the plane, sketch. We're going to draw center lines first. So click the center line and draw a horizontal center line from this point to the right. So we're going to give this line a dimension of 20.3. And then we're going to draw a circle from this point. Give the circle a dimension of 32. Then we're going to offset this circle by 1.5. And we're going to select reverse. OK. Let's hide. Hide this plane. Then we're going to Features, we select Extruded Boss Base, we're going to Extrude the uh, Sketch, and then we select Up to Next. Click on OK. Now we're going to create another plane. So select Plane, select this face, we're going to flip the plane. Type in two millimeters, and then we're going to sketch on the plane. And then we're going to select circle again. We're going to draw another circle in the middle. This will be 24. And again with an offset of 1.5 and select reverse again. Then we're going to extrude 
the sketch again. Flip the direction where we're going to select up to next. Click OK. Then we're going to sketch on the same plane. Select the plane, sketch. We're going to make an opening with the same dimensions as the circle. So we're going to select convert entities, click on the circle. Okay, then we have a sketch. And we go to features, extruded cut, click OK. Now we're going to close this off. We're going to the front plane again, sketch. And we're going to select show hidden lines. Let's hide this plane. we're going to draw a center line from the center of this cylinder and give it a dimension of 5. Then we're going to select arc and draw an arc from this point to the center line. And we're going to make this arc tangent. So we're going to select center line and draw a horizontal center line over here. Click on the center line, following shift, click on the arc, and select tangent. Then we're going to offset the sketch. So we click on offset entities, click on the sketch, we're going to offset it by 1.5. Click OK. Then we're going to close the sketch. We're going to Draw a line from this point to this point. Draw another line from this point to this point. Then our profile is done and we can use Revolve to finish it off. This will be our axis. Click OK. And the only thing we have to do is finish off the axis. So we're going to select this mode. Then we select this face. We're going to sketch on this face. And we're going to draw a circle from the origin to this point. And we're going to extrude it. flip side and then we're going to extrude it by 1.5 click OK then we're going to sketch on the same face again so select the face and we're going to draw another cylinder with a dimension of 6. We're going to give this an extrude of 2. And we're going to mirror those features to the other side. Select mirror this feature and this feature and we're going to use this plane to mirror click OK and then we give this flip cap the same color as the lid with the plastic medium gloss also give it the color blue and then our piece is finished. And make sure you save it. And let's 
save this as flip gap. Now we're going to continue with the next part. We click on new part and we're going to draw the mixing ball which is a spring ball with a different pitch and different revolution we're going to the top plane sketch we're going to draw a circle from the origin and give this circle a dimension of 15 then we want to curse helix and spiral starting angle will be zero degrees we will go counterclockwise we will select variable pitch and we're going to type in the following parameters we have a pitch of 2 it will be 16 it will also be 2 it will stay 1 and type in 37 the pitch of 7 will be 2 this will be 47 it will be 10 and 3 and then we go inward again this will be 37 this will be 7 4 this will be 16 16 2 5 and this will be 15 Two, six. Click OK. Now we have our guideline, and we only have to draw our profile. We select right plane, sketch. Now we're going to draw a circle. with a dimension of 1.5 and let's pierce the circle to the spiral pierce go to features oh, first we're going to leave the sketch select sweat ball space click on the profile and on the path to finish it we can add material metal steel let's select this one It's called mixing ball. Save. And then the only thing we have to do is assemble the parts. Thank you for watching.